Now, the minority in parliament has raised red flags over GNPC's decision to make donations of over 2 million CDs to some institution, including the Ochehene for his 20th anniversary celebration. Former Deputy Energy Minister John Ginapo, who questioned the reasoning behind the decision, described it as improper. Here's a report by Selim Amenya. In a leaked memo intercepted by TV3 on Monday, the GNPC had earmarked about 2.6 million cities for Chihine's tree planting initiative. The First Lady, Rebecca Ekufuado's foundation, as well as general financial support to investigative body, Economic and Organized Crime Office, Yoko, and the Ghana Journalist Association. These were captured under the GNPC's Corporate Social Investment Project and dated October 29. This generated a lot of controversy over how the country's oil revenue is being expended at a time the oil exploratory body is said to be in a funding deficit exceeding 1.2 billion cities. I hold a view that if you have a company that has a funding gap only one year, and we are not talking of their total liability, just this year alone, GMPC has a funding gap or a deficit of 1.24 billion they ought to be concentrating in how to pay that money. Former Deputy Energy Minister John Ginapo stressed the Energy Minister will be summoned before Parliament to justify the expenditure and provide a detailed breakdown of same. Certainly, we intend to bring the Minister before the House. The Minister must come to explain when these protocols were adopted. Is the Minister aware? Is it a policy decision of government? that GMPC can engage in this kind of expenditure? What are the protocols involved? 500,000 cities for a three-year period totaling 1.5 million cities was allocated to the 20th anniversary of Ochehine for tree planting and environment greening. This, in the view of the Member of Parliament for Yape Kuso, must be explained. When these things come, we need details. What kind of trees? Is it collaborating with the Forestry Commission? What is the Forestry Commission doing? that Ochehine now has to be planting trees. What trees are we growing? What is the cost? How do we sustain it? I think these are issues that we ought to be looking at as a nation. On the 550,000 cities allocated to the Economic and Organized Crime Office, Yoko, John Ginapo argued the board chairman of the GNPC, who is also chairman of the ruling MPP, Freddie Blay, is being investigated by Yoko for donating some 275 buses to the party and the decision could compromise the process. There's the potential for Ioko to be investigating the board chairman of the GMPC. And so if this same board chairman sits at a meeting and approve monies to be doled out to Ioko, I find that inappropriate and improper. Moreover, Ioko's budget was approved here in parliament. The budget was debated. And so how can we approve a budget for Ioko only for Ioko then to fall on GMPC?